What if you could turn your old DVD collection into your own personal streaming service on your Apple TV with no ads, no subscriptions, and no monthly fees? In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that in just five simple steps. From classic movies, kid favorites, and old shows not found on streaming platforms, here's how to watch it all right from your Apple TV. Step one is to get a device to store your movies and TV shows. We'll be turning physical disks into digital files, so you'll need a device that can store all your files. The best choice is a NAS, Network Attached Storage. It's a device that connects to your home network and locally stores files, like videos, photos, or documents securely on hard drives that you can then access from any device, even remotely. There are a lot of brands that make NAS boxes, but I've been using the Ugreen DXP4800 Plus, which supports up to 136 terabytes of storage, enough space for tens of thousands of movies. Keep in mind that NAS boxes typically do not come with hard drives, so you'll need to choose one and purchase those separately. The Ugreen NAS offers wide compatibility with multiple drive types and sizes from various brands, including regular updates to support third-party hard drives and SSDs based on user feedback. For my setup, I'm using several 4TB 3.5-inch drives, and installing them in the Ugreen NAS is incredibly easy. No tools or screws are needed. You just take the included key and unlock the hard drive tray, pop the handle out, slide the tray out, pull out the clamp arm, drop in the drive, snap the arm back into place, and slide it back in and lock it. That's it. Very easy. Connect the NAS to your network using the included 2.5 gigabit or 10 gigabit ethernet cable, whichever your network supports. Then walk through the simple beginner-friendly setup process to set up your hard drives based on your storage and backup needs. Even if you're new to a NAS, the Ugreen NAS is very beginner-friendly. Now, what really sets the Ugreen NAS box apart from all the other NAS boxes are the free apps that you can install on the NAS. There's Home Assistant, which lets you integrate smart home devices with Apple HomeKit, the AI album assistant scans your photos and sorts them by people, places, or even animals, and you can search by keyword, which is amazing. And my favorite app, the Theater app, which turns the NAS into a media server. And this is what we will be using later on to stream content from your Apple TV. Step two is to create a digital copy of a movie or a TV show that you want to watch on your Apple TV. I'm using a free app called Make MKV. It works on both Windows and Mac, and it creates an MKV file of the full movie, whether it's a DVD or a Blu-ray. That file can be streamed from your NAS and thus streamed on your Apple TV. I've been using Make MKV for a while now for all my movies and my TV shows, and it works great. Once the file is created, make sure to name it properly. For movies, rename it to the movie name. And for TV shows, make sure it's in this format right here. This step is crucial as you'll see later on. If you're like me, you have a large collection of movies and shows, so creating a digital copy of everything will take a while. Before we start uploading files, it's important to get your media organized. I recommend organizing your media by creating separate folders for movies, TV shows, with subfolders of each show and other content you may have. This keeps your library neat and easy to navigate, especially with a large collection. Next, start uploading your video files in the respective folders using the NAS's fast transfer speeds, up to 10 gigabits a second, which lets you quickly move large files like Blu-ray files and 4K files. For example, transferring one terabyte of video files can take about 20 minutes, making it easy to build your library fast. You can upload a single MKV file of your movie or show, a folder, or multiple files at once. The next step is to install the free theater app from the NAS App Center. This app lets you stream your movies and shows directly from your NAS onto your other devices like your iPhone or an Apple TV. When you first open the theater, create a library by selecting the folders with your media files. The app uses a TMDB API key to fetch metadata like posters and summaries automatically. You can skip entering the key and just click save. Then you'll see all the files from the folders that you selected and you can see your movies and your TV shows with the poster art. If something does not look right, you can always change the metadata source and settings or manually adjust info individually. To add media from other folders later on, just add the folder in the settings of the theater app. 
it'll scan and import everything automatically. New files added to those folders will appear automatically, or you can tap the sync button to refresh your library manually. By the way, Ugrain is sponsoring this video and sent out their DXP4800 Plus NAS and these hard drives to test out. If you want to test this setup yourself and start streaming your own content on your Apple TV, then I will leave a link in the description below for 15% off their NAS. And a huge thank you to Ugreen for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. Now let's take a quick tour of the theater app before I show you how to get your content on your Apple TV. The interface is clean and simple with sidebar tabs for your homepage, recently played, and library. The homepage shows a movie carousel, recent updates, and organized media sections, all customizable in the settings. When you open a movie like Monsters Inc., you'll see the resolution, the ratings, the summary, and cast info pulled automatically. Playback is smooth with no lags and it supports captions in different languages. TV shows work the same way with easy episode navigation. Now that everything is set up on your NAS, the final step is to start streaming content on your Apple TV. Just download the free Ugreen NAS app from the App Store and log in either using the iPhone app or directly on the Apple TV. I prefer using the iPhone app because it's the easiest and I don't have to type anything in. Once you're in, the interface is similar to the NAS, with tabs to browse your library, continue watching, or view recently added content. The sidebar has a few tabs to view your media, and the categories section allows you to separate movies from your TV shows. Viewing a movie on the Apple TV is surprisingly smooth with no playback issues playing, rewinding, or fast forwarding, and captions can be enabled as well. TV shows look similar with episodes listed at the bottom. A search function is helpful if you want to search for a specific movie or show to watch. One of my favorite features of this app is that you can filter out content, either by genre, release date, and more. You can't use Siri to control the playback, but for ad-free, subscription-free streaming of your own content, that is a trade-off that I am willing to make. I've been building a physical media collection of all the movies and shows my family loves, and now we can watch them anytime, anywhere, even if they get removed from a platform later on. Using the Ugreen NAS with the theater app on my Apple TV has genuinely changed how I watch movies. There's something really satisfying about pulling up a movie you actually own, maybe one you grew up with or can't find on streaming, and watching it with no ads, no distractions, and no monthly fees. Do you prefer streaming or owning your own movies? Let me know down in the comment section below if you're team DVD or team streaming. I'm team DVD. Check out the link in the description below for 15% off the Ugreen DXP4800 Plus NAS, and thank you for watching.